Hey everyone, it's Riley Girl. We're back here in my beautiful city here in Fallout 4. I'm loving how this place is starting to look. I've got a few lights going on here. Um, I've decorated by putting in fireplaces and things in the houses like I have been doing. I changed out some of these lights on either side of the wall. I think they look really cool. Look at that. I found that in another mod. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. I hope I can remember which mod it is, but I've done some things here and there. I've done different things with fireplaces. I didn't want all my fireplaces looking the same, so I'm kind of just building fireplaces, and it's a lot of fun. I'm putting a bunch of different pieces together on these things, and they're kind of turning out really cool. I love this house so much. This was such a pain to build, but it looks so cool. There's my little homemade fireplace in there, too. It's looking great looking pretty cool. So over here today we're going to build right here on the corner. I was going to build something so that people could get to the stairs right there but I think I'm not going to worry about it and just let everybody be able to get to the stairs back behind the houses here. I think that's the best thing to do because I'm going to run out of room if I try to just leave a spot right here. I want to put a big place right here and I think this is going to be where our um, Oh my gosh, I just totally went blank my mind today. Oh, this is going to be the blacksmith. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So I'm getting in build mode. We're going to start building this baby here. Um, we're going to do like I've been doing on this side here, having everything pretty much as low down to the ground as we can get. I want to build pretty close to this place again. I don't want my roofs hitting each other, though, so I've got to be careful about that up top. And... Um, I'm just going to go with this floor right now. I'm not a huge fan of this color just because it, it reminds me a lot of what I have going on over there at the wall. But I'm going to go with it because I've not used it yet. There we go. I don't know why. I'm going to have to adjust this up, I think. But this is going to be the main part of the house here. I just want to get it out of the ground. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm too far back though for this corner. So I'm going to move it out this way. And I'll adjust it as I go there. But the main part of the house is going to be pretty small. We're going to have an entrance here and a window there. And then we're going to just kind of have a little room. This will just be a little room right here. Over here is going to be a pass-through because the um, blacksmith is going to be working out in the back. Hopefully I have enough room for all of this. But I think I think it will be. Alright. That's all stuck out there. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Whoop, went too far. I want to get my wall out. There we go. This is where I need to be. Let's put our door in. I'm going to do the door, I think like this, and then I'm going to put a window in beside it. What do I have over there? That's a little bump out. Well, that didn't work. There we go. That's going to be our little door and window on the front of the house. So right here beside this house, we're going to have a pass through to the backyard because the blacksmith is going to be working out back. The only problem is, is that pass through that I want over here isn't going to have a floor and it's going to be hard to put in my walls that I want to put in here without the floor so I'm just temporarily putting in a floor right now so I can get my walls in and then I'll take it all down so we want to go with a way to get in the back this is pretty simple I'll go with that then from the house we're going to have a little door here too so we can get in the side of the house as well um, but I'm going to skip that for right now because right now I just want to finish putting in my wall. That's not what I want. Um, this, I'm going to stick that right there. And then also, I think I'm going to put another pass-through right here. So I could have a little fenced-in area right here. I think that might be kind of neat. Let's finish the end of our corridor here by sticking that wall there. And then this is going to be the house part here. So let me go back to my plaster whoop, plaster walls. And I 
need to find, whoop, I want the door. I need to find my door to put in here. I think I'm just going to do a center door. Oh my goodness. Stop it. There we go. And then we're just going to put a regular wall there to close that in. Yeah, that'll be cool. Now I'm going to take this part out because I want it to be like a pass-through. Only thing is, is that it makes this floor look like it's floating, but I think I can fix it later to make it look like it's not just by sticking some stuff up under there, but I'll worry about that later when I'm decorating it. So that's our little pass between through here. Now, what I want to do up top is put a roof over this. Oh, that's a floor, not a roof. Here we go, roof. And I want to do these little ones here. But I want to make it so that... I've got to find it here. Which way is it? Oops. This one. I want to make it so that the roof part... Um, is closed right there. Instead of towards the house. So I've got to find that one. go. That way it's nice and closed off there. Over here it can be open into the house. Um, actually you probably won't even tell because I'm going to put a floor right here. It's going to close that off automatically. So, so far this is what this place is looking like. Um, try to jump down here a little bit. There we go. So we can see this will be our first floor. So I want to finish off these walls down here on this section. Then we're going to start building up. I'm going to go up three stories on this side. Kind of like what I've been doing. That's why I was trying to be careful about getting it too close because I don't want my roofs hitting up there. But I think this is going to look really cool by the time I get it all done. So let's hop back into build mode. Let's put in our walls. Now because I'm going to have an outside area back here, I think I'm going to stick a window right there on this part. I think that'll be nice for the family to be able to see outside. How, how do I keep getting these weird... I don't know. I guess it starts there. I never realized. Um, they have windows on the outside there. I'm not going to put any on this side here. Yeah, we're looking good. This is going to be neat. Okay, second floor. Um, let's go ahead and put our floor in. I think I'm just going to go with that. Run it the same way, I hope. Come on. And then over here we're going to do a partial... Is it that? Yeah. So we can put our ladder back here to get up in this area. Now let's close it off with our walls. This is level number two, of course, that we're working on here. I think back here, why not? Let's do windows in the front and the back. I like these ones. I'm just going to go with these ones for now. Whoop. Did I do that right? I think I did. I've got to make sure I'm hitting them all in the same spot here. No, that's got to jump down. That's got to jump down. Here we go. Okay. Okay. We don't want a gap between our floors there. That would be bad. And then over here we're just going to do the white again. There's floor number two. And let's put in another floor piece here. I think I went with that, right? Yeah. So we don't want our steps I mean, our um, ladder the same way over there. So we're going to do opposite land, I think. Um, I may actually do it over on the other side. I have an idea right here, and I don't want to mess it up with the floor. So let's do this one. Uh, I don't like how it's different, so I'm going to do it there. There we go. That way it looks like it's running the same. And then right here we're going to do one of these guys. And I want a big one over here. 
Maybe this one. We'll see how this looks if I can get it back. It snapped for a second. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. That's a big one. I like how big it is, though. I kind of wanted it to be where it would be the whole, whole, the whole um, side here. Because if you just do one side or the other, it's it's only the smaller ones are only going to be on one side or the other, and they're not really made so that you can build two on top of each other because of the roofs. I mean, you could technically get away with it by doing that, making two separate little rooms, but I wanted it to be one big thing with the triangular roof, kind of like that. So we're going with the big one there. I think that looks good. All right, so I want to finish up my walls right here. I'm just going to stick with the same walls that I just did below. I to fix that one there. There we go. My floors match in there, right? Yes, they do. Okay. What the heck? Let's just do our walls again here. I don't know. I don't really like how that looks like that. Well, I may change some of this, but for now, I'm getting it built. That's what I want to do is get it built. I can always change them out later if I decide I don't like how it looks. And I need the opposite guy. There. It goes into that ever so slightly, but that's no big deal. I think that's fine. Alright, so let's finish this side over here. Which one is this? That one? No. What are you doing? Come on. Isn't that ridiculous? I got it perfectly on the other side, but this side's like, no, I don't really want to. There we go. Jeez. And then this one. Here we go. Well, that's so cool. I love all the different roofs I've got going on here on this place. It looks pretty neat. I might change my mind on it. I kind of like how it looks, but I kind of don't because I feel like it's just a little too big right there. And unfortunately, it's the only piece. If I did that one there... I can't do one here because it's going to overlap. But what would it look like, though, if I did overlap? Well, it's not bad, actually. It kind of looks like it fits. I kind of like that better because it doesn't overlap our big roof there. And those two pieces are kind of cute because it looks like it should go together. I do have a problem in the middle, though, see what we can see in the house. Okay, so all I have is like that little gap. But you know what I could do? Turn these into little rooms. And uh, that'll fix it. Where's my... There we go. So we could do like cute little kid style rooms here. Well, I really wanted it to go the other way, but it really wants to snap back. So, oh well, it's going to snap like that. So that gets rid of our holes that we needed to cover. That works. Cool. All right. Work my way back down here. I like this. This is kind of neat because this could be like a little storage area too as you're walking through here to get to the back. There's enough room back here that I can set up my little area for the blacksmith. Over here is just enough room to put in a cute little fenced-in area, too, which I think will look kind of neat. And it won't block anything going on over there. Look how nice and big that place is. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so I want to change out some of this. I don't like it. Oh, and I forgot. I wanted to put a thing, another thing out here, another bump out. That's why I don't like it. That's why it looks so simple. Because I wanted to bump out right here and I totally didn't think about that till right this second. Okay, so which one? I want this one. I was gonna use it. I've used it how many times now? Three? This will be the third. Yeah, look at that. That just changed the whole look of that house that quickly. I like it. It looks good. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go with that for this 
level and I like how it changed it up it changed the look of the top floor and everything there just doing that now the back side was the one I didn't like because of all the windows back here so I think I'm probably just gonna take some of these out Jeez, of course. Come on. I could deal with that better. That looks less busy. Am I on the wall? I am. Might as well stay here and take a look. Yeah. Oh, neato. I love it. That looks really cool. Big house. Nice big house. Love it. Okay. I could go for that. Perfect. So... The rest of this right now is just going to be me decorating. So I think I'll go ahead and get all that done. And I'm going to end this episode right here. I wouldn't even go to put my ladders in this time. I'll do that behind the scenes. So once I get a few things done and decorated next episode before we start on the next one, I'll show you what it looks like a little bit more finished up. But I do really like how this is starting to look kind of alive with a pretty little flower garden in here and hedges there. And just boxes on some of the windows. I didn't do it on all of the houses because I don't want all of the houses to look exactly the same with all the boxes on the windows, but some of them have them. And it's looking really good. And this cute little double story house in the middle of all the big ones looks really cute too. I like that. Nice. And of course, that's just kind of stuck there, the water thing. It's just kind of stuck there till I decide where I want to put it. It's just my reminder. But it's looking great. Everything's looking good out here. And in there, in our city. It's turning out really cool. Alright guys, well that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what you think of our new house. And how you think the street's starting to look. That is just neat. Love it. I like that, going around the corner here. I've got to figure out what to put over here next. So that'll be next episode, I guess. Something to go right here. But there's our blacksmith house. It's looking pretty good. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye.